Yo, yo. One five, one five. Yo, yo. Yeah. One five. Is that one five? One five. What the fuck is a one five? Fifteenth letter of the alphabet is O. Fifteen O? Oh. <laughs> the one five. One five. <laughs> welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks for this having is, me. This again. is uh Tone D Mac, as always. Welcome to You're Gonna Be Okay, another episode. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, O. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Fifteenth letter of the, the alphabet. 15th, one five. Only O everywhere. What's good? What's, what's good? What's good? I'm chilling, man. Same old studios popping now. High heat record studios tapped it in last time. So follow that everywhere. Back St- then, still doing my music thing, man. What's good with you? Chilling, man. You know, comedy, uh, podcasting. You know, uh-huh. regular daggling. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much. Pretty much. You know, mm-hmm. keeping the grind going. Yeah, we, we got to grind it out, man. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm in this this stage right now where, like. I feel like everything is going to be okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to plug it. <laughs> just trying to plug it. Yeah. I mean, everything's good. Yeah. Just like, you know, like you came and seen me perform last week. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, that, like. Y'all killed it too. Dude, y'all like. shut it down. <laughs> when, I, when I say like, I felt so good after that set, bro. Mm-hmm. Just like, you, I just knew in my head, I was just like, yo, I'm murdering right now. Mm-hmm. In my head, because was, I was so in sync. Like, I was just, like, so in the room. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, You were locked into that one. I was yeah. there, bro. Yeah, man. You were definitely locked in. The crowd is locked in, receptive, bro. Yeah. yeah. You were hitting. You were... Like, everything, every, like, there was no misses. It was, like, everything <laughs> was, like, straight, solid performance. Right. I, I couldn't, like, I was like, yeah, that's that's how I know. Flawless performance. Yeah, f- like, super flawless. Yeah, man. Uh, I haven't headlined in a while, so it was, just, like, that was a good, like, mm-hmm. you know, headlining. Yeah. I was like, all right, I can now... I now can consider myself a headliner. Exactly. You know, you, you already can consider yourself one 100. percent But now well, it's official on paper. You it's know? A, it's you like think it before you there. You know, it's like you. I've I've headlined a few times, mm-hmm. but a lot of them have been by accident. Uh huh. Niggas just when you show up late, niggas come early. Like it's just somehow. I, I don't. I don't show up. It, type, you know? Somebody don't show up. Yeah. Uh, it's usually what happened. Yeah. And exactly. I, I just, I'm like, all right, I'm pre- pre- prepared for the mission because I, I feel like. You got to put yourself in things that make you grow. Because, mm-hmm. like, people are like, hey, I need a, I need 25 from you. Can you do 25? Yeah. Sure, I can. Yeah, yeah. I man. got like 10. <laughs> you know yeah. I'm saying? I got like 10 minutes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm going to try to stress that 25 out. Yeah, man. Like, the most I did was 45. Mm-hmm. And I've had, I had 25 minutes mm-hmm. of like material. Mm-hmm. Not good material, but just, you know, yeah. I can get through 25 uh-huh. pretty easy. Uh-huh. A 45, I was like, woo. You got to make it happen, Ooh. though. You got to step out your comfort zone, Ooh. as they say, with anything. Yeah. If you say, you do, if we say what we do, you know what I'm saying? When it's yeah. time to hit the stage, I'm going to rock it no matter what the yeah. case is, you know? Like, I always, I always, always, anytime somebody like, hey, I need you to do, yeah. only I got you. Yeah, 100%. Because I, I feel like I, I grow in those situations. Like, I did a 30, mm. like, mm. in October. Mm. Um, did I have 30? Mm. No. Yeah. You got to make it happen. I had 20, though. Uh-huh. I had 20 of solid, like, solid. Yeah. But like I had to do a solid 20. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no easy, easy, piece. solid 20, but 30. Yeah. Woo. It's the same with rap, too. You tell me you get on stage, rather I have one song, songs ready. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Put on any instrumental. I got to do this because it's yeah. mental, too, man. Yeah. Like, do I do this or do I not? I ain't a poser, bro. I do this. So yeah. tell me, to, let's go. Where's the mic? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the bass? Where's the drums, bro? Like, whatever. That's real shit, yo. <laughs> I'll figure some shit out. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be okay. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. Yo, we was so. What we what we was talking about? We was talking about uh, women, lines. <laughs> oh man, was talking about women, man. Yeah, yeah. Woo. A specific type, man. Toxic. Yo, oh, the toxic one. Toxic. Yeah. <laughs> the toxic waste. Toxic women. Yeah. We was like. I seem to attract those. Me too. Oh my gosh, what is it? That was funny. There's a one hit to it. <laughs> Wait, toxic women. Uh huh. Where, like, I've honestly had one bad one. Oh no, a few ones. Usually, kind of one bad one, one bad one, but one bad one. Mm-hmm. I've had a lot of toxic women. Uh huh. A lot. <laughs> like, I attract toxic women. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. I just, uh -huh. it's like they just, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they just find me. <laughs> they see the melanated, they think they can handle they, it. You they, know, this nigga can handle it. Nah, bro, you need to act, act the fuck right. I don't know. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Cause like toxic women, they just do stuff that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and they'll scorn like a woman's anger, like a woman's spite, bro. They spiteful, man. Like, it's, it's out of control. I don't know where it comes from. Or, like we were saying, the accountability thing. You don't want to hold accountability. You want to take control of situations, you know. But I'm all person. You're all person. We have that respect for that. Mutual. I mean, because. just elevated consciousness. It's not even male and female, you know. Just the accountability mm -hmm. aspect of it. Because you are a part of this, too. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, you. The reason why a certain thing happened is because you were a part of it. Yeah, exactly. You were a part of the situation. This road goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? It does go both ways. It, yes. it really does. Like, uh -huh. we were talking about how, like, you can be honest with a girl and she don't care about your honesty. She still thinks she could do something else about it, you know? Yeah. You don't got no witchcraft, what you think this is. She probably going to go do some voodoo, too. Some man, dude, you better some be girls careful. Do got, some girls do got witchcraft. They <laughs> yeah. do got witchcraft. I know, like 100%. It. Stay away from them girls. If she do any type of like witchcraft, she into the moon and the stars. <laughs> Stay away. She in the horoscopes. <laughs> you she, might if she asks you what time you were born, leave her alone, dog. You leave, might. leave her. If she asks you what time were you born and your birthday and what year, leave, immediately evacuate. You dog. might not be okay. <laughs> evacuate any like any time any girl like that, bro. I know they look cool. I know they look fun. Uh -huh. They they free spirited, yeah. bro. Stop it. Yeah, for real. Stop it. She's doing some sort of witchcraft. Those are fed questions. I don't know what the hell what time you born. In the Caribbean, when we were growing up, my parents and stuff, they would always be like, "Don't ever go and eat from a girl's house because they have this thing called sweat rice." And they had this idea. Sweat rice. Sweat rice. Females had this idea. Oh, sweat rice. <laughs> sweat rice. All right, what's sweat rice? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Interested so, now. so they had this idea in the Caribbean to uh, lock down a man because there's a lot of voodoo like that type of stuff in that yeah. area. They would cook for him and sit over the pot of their food, and they would sit over the food and just sweat and menstruate in it and like feed it to the man, and thinking that that's gonna make or saying that that like is some sort of craft or to make your man fall in love with you. Bro. I heard about so don't eat like, spaghetti. Don't... <laughs> I heard about don't eat nothing red. Oh, don't feed me damn, nothing see, red. That's a good one. Don't <laughs> even feed me nothing. Anything <laughs> with sauce in it, I don't even want it, dog. Don't need no sauce. <laughs> No, oh my god, no lasagna, no lasagna. <laughs> like, I need to see, like, I would no, <laughs> yeah, bro. But sweat rice, yo, sweat rice, bro. Hey, no, no girl can Don't make me the ri Caribbean. <laughs> no girl can make me rice no more. <laughs> Anything yeah. with rice in it, I don't want it. Rice yeah, on yeah, the bro. rice as I hold might, the rice. Yeah, you might have to cut this out. Someone might be peeping game right now. Oh shit! Trying to lock down their man, bro. No, we, might putting, <laughs> we might be putting. We might be putting some female on, bro. God damn! We might have recreated the whole thing. It's my damn. Hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> shit! <laughs> man. Sweat rice, sweat rice, man. Be careful if you go down to the islands, Jamaica, things like that. Mm. Be cautious. Like I say, all they eat is rice. Yeah. All they eat is rice. Yeah. Like, I love me some Jamaican food. Uh -huh. like, rice and peas, dog? Come on. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Plants I might have everything. to, I'm like, if, look, if a Jamaican woman wants to give me some sweat rice, I'm for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever else she going to give me, that's what make it, that. If that's what make it taste good, I'm with it. <laughs> if that's her the sweat. Her, her natural orders. That's <laughs> 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 funny. God damn. Yo. Yeah. Well, that, that. We yeah, man, be careful out here. Serious. Stop with the, the toxic, mm -hmm. toxic. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like on both sides, men and women are toxic. Yeah, it's a personality trait, bro. Yeah. You know, it ain't because it ain't it ain't it ain't just women. Like mm -hmm. I know we, it yeah. ain't just men toxic too. Yeah, 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 man. They be wild with it. I just had a little wild situation with an old boy trying to yeah. fucking say something over some weird text. You, know? <laughs> you can't be you can't be you can't be texting my nigga girls. You feel me? Yeah. Like. You, Niggas will shoot you because you just text this girl, yeah, like, and it wasn't even saying. knowing nothing. Exactly. You it was just on some, some casual. It, when it comes to men's, like, you know, fighting shit, it's always some woman, money, you know, that's like top two niggas be killing each other for, you know. Women and money. Yeah. It don't be more disrespect, you know, which that's like I, false. I, I, the... I think that's like, that's yeah. like, that's third. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, disrespect too, like, it, because yeah. there's only a certain level of disrespect that a man yeah. will take. Yeah. But as far as like, you touch a nigga's heart, bro. Which is what he thought his girl was or whatever. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> yeah, she you know, yeah. Yeah. Like I was in a situation where like a guy was mad because like I just work with his girl. 
Mm-hmm. See, I don't. Nice. See, that's a toxic girl too. They like that shit too. They like a girl, that, a dude, to be going crazy over her. They think that's love or something, bro. <laughs> you know? Love is not toxic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God damn. They 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 because they they, they they like that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they like bringing that uh that toxicity out of you. Uh huh. They want to see you be toxic, yeah. or they want they think that you uh like being a certain way with them is like real love and that's just that's just it's yeah. not it's out of their fucking mind is that daddy issues or something is that, that is where, definitely where, daddy where, issues. where are you getting that from oh yeah it's definitely Black daddy. male role model you know yeah, that's no understanding of the other gender they yeah <laughs> and because why i'm here toxic toxic hope for you i'm trying to show you i'm trying to show you this other half because <laughs> like my bad y'all not hoes <laughs> some of them are some of them are <laughs> They do uh, exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, like at some point, like we like we both have to understand the other species because mm-hmm. I, I I think like right now, like with all these you know like um, all these podcasts are coming out uh-huh. and men bashing women, yeah, like they're going crazy. They're they're really going crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think a lot of it is bias, mm-hmm. like all the um. You know what's the what's the platforms now? Fucking like the what are you talking like the pro male stuff? You're yeah, about like, like the fresh red, fit and then, red pill shit. Oh yeah, red pill shit. Yeah, right. yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff, and you know they need a voice, but there's a lot of things getting misconstrued. It's yeah, like, oh, God, that's a little overboard. Yeah, but. a little, a little, a little. You going a little too crazy? Yeah, now. Yeah. Like I like I like the messages though because yeah. they they are really telling you some huh. real ass shit. Yeah, like because a, a lot of them are based on men at all true. get your shit together. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're really telling you that's, because that's like true. you you can't. You think that a woman doesn't like you. It's like you don't have your shit together. Mm, 100%. So if woman says, hey, look, I need a nigga to have a job. Uh-huh. You gotta how are you going to be mad? Exactly. If she say, I want to do to make $100,000. And if you want her, nigga, you got to make $100,000. Exactly. If, if you want that chick. If you 100%. want that chick. Some chick will take you at 40. Yeah, yeah. Some chick will take you at 80. <laughs> some, ch- some chick will take you at zero. Hey, just fine. You off. Just fine. <laughs> But that's what the that's what the game is. The that's auction. what the game is. The that's, nigga auction, bro. That's take that one for uh forty thousand. For real, like you know what I'm all saying? I need like, a in this hood, all, I, said, need all is... I need is forty thousand dollars, a hundred. So some girls be like, I need a nigga to make you know a million. Yeah, yeah. Perfectly fine. That's cool. Don't expect that shit to want you if you'll make a million dollars. And that's cool with me. When it comes to females, bro, you just tell me. And anyone in general, I'm the type of person. You just tell me what you need. I go get it. I don't do all these like extra types of shit. Mm-hmm. So when you come to like toxic females who can't be honest and accountability or they just want to like they actually want something but yeah they saying you they're okay and all that stuff yeah. and it gets complicated you know what i'm saying and then they want to put you down for not doing certain shit but you got to be communicative about that if you want 100k i'll go get it but you got to let me know what you want i don't read minds i read your horoscopes and shit whatever <laughs> men do not read minds <laughs> you know? i think that's the most craziest thing <laughs> that you want us to just get it yeah. you ain't communicate shit <laughs> exactly I mean, I could jump to conclusions, but no, I'm moving how, off logic. How, I need to know. How do you expect me to know, like, oh, you sad? Yeah. I'll ask you, hey, babe, what's up? Uh-huh. Nothing. <laughs> All right. You good? I'll- I'm okay. And and deep down on you, you fucking uh-huh. inside fucking going crazy. <laughs> yeah, right? Tell me what the fuck is wrong. <laughs> exactly. Just let me know. Like, you, <laughs> you're supposed to be just... I don't know what's going on Maybe with you. either. Once again, are you okay? <laughs> are you? Like, that? and I think that, like... They expect us to be mm-hmm. mind readers, mm-hmm. and we're just not. Yeah, we're yeah. not built like that. Definitely not. <laughs> we're just not like. Definitely not. You gotta use your words. And I like, cause you act like. What do you want? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Men, men are men are so simple. Yeah. Very simple. We're, we're I think we're the most simple species. Mm-hmm. Simple as simple as all get up. Bro, there's not a much to like think about. Of course, what else do I need? Eat food, eat sleep, sex. Paper for you, really? Because honestly, for, like, you, for you, really? Like that's that's for you. I, yeah. That's that's all for you. It's not, honestly, it's not were, even for me. Like yeah. men can like if men didn't like have women, they would sleep in cardboard I'd boxes. Be chilling, dude. I chilling. Get a lot, like like they should have a much. great joke about that. It's like if we could get a girl in a cardboard box, we would. Yeah, for sure, bro. Talking about budgeting, to be honest, you know. Well, like it's like that's really men do the shit is for women. Hundred percent. It's yeah. not even for us. Nah. Because like. We get money, men get money and be like, all right, you know what? Mm. I want to give me a little girlfriend, a wife, I want to take care of family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's a that's a secure man too, a man with some sort of ambitions, a man with like, you know, a vision and that type of stuff. There's also the insecure ones who, you know, 
like to floss and do a little extras, you know, the little. I mean, short, you you just flossing. You're not yeah, like you, short man disease and all. There's that a stuff. lot of them too. <laughs> yeah. But some some dudes be flexing, yeah, and it's yeah. fine. Like you flexing, that just shows your exactly. insecurity. Yeah, exactly. You just being insecure, like, because uh -huh. like the dudes that because you, you said something uh, the other day. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, we're talking about use the, the one that's usually the loudest is the oh, quiet. Oh, yeah, the, loud, uh, the loudest in the room is the weakest in the room. You yeah. Know? You're quiet. I don't need to bark about anything, you know? Right. I'm confident, I'm confident, confident in myself. Like, right. Yeah. And you're exposing yourself. Here's another thing. Stop barking, especially for males. Red pill type shit. Protect yourself. <laughs> Stop barking. You're exposing yourself. We see you. They know where to attack you now. Like, chill. Like, I'm not going to do it. I'm cool, but. <laughs> you show, you show, you show, you show an emotion. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like that you're showing emotion. And that's where I think that we don't men are not like that. We we can show emotions, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Like show your like show your emotions. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. There's no need to bottle all that shit up. That's why men are going to be in depressed because they don't know how a healthy yeah. way of expressing their emotions. Yeah, cool. Now it's just a way of doing it. Yeah, for sure. There is a proper way of There's yeah. a proper way of, of like really expressing <laughs> your emotions. Get out of hand real quick, you know. Because like if you sitting here boohoo and snot coming out your nose and like what's like, wrong with you, dog? Get, the, get your shit together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And then even at a composed level too, because especially as being melanated, you know, being a Caribbean dude, it could get heated, you know, you get serious. Yeah. I could communicate, I could look through your face and it could get like serious, you yeah. know. And people are intimidated by that, you know, so it's hard for to come across to especially people outside of you know culture yeah people, like you but know. being being direct right yeah exactly yeah. you know that's hard too because mm -hmm. like when you when you direct it, it comes it comes across a certain way and people mm -hmm. get upset about that threatened or something it's like nah, it's bro, not this in is a just my, this is my boundary that's bro. how that like that's how i communicate mm -hmm. exactly you know what i'm saying yeah well, you got to be open to that and if you're not honestly you're not on an elevated level got to move move on push yeah. past that like you're not an ace, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you are not an ace with the aces of spades. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, like, I, I hate, I, I really am confused about all this, like, the red pill talk and, mm -hmm. like, because I feel like a lot of them are doing a disservice to men yeah. and women relationships. Yeah, yeah. Because now everybody's confused now. Yeah. Everybody's confused about, okay, this is what men said they want. Mm -hmm. And you confuse. That's not you're not just you're not listening to what they're saying. Yeah, exactly. because like you gotta take what they're saying with a grain of salt. Uh -huh. Like literally, just a grain of salt. Yeah. Because they t they give you the gym, but they just you know yeah over exaggerating. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you know men are braggadocious. Some of them, some of them are gonna do that. Over it's a, over exaggerating. It's a thin line. It's a thin line. It's tough, but it's something that I think has to happen. Or what do you think is better? Just to keep chival chivalry, as you call it, and like how things were, and just keep you know shit in the dark and just you know. Well, Cause it's different now, yeah. because like relationships are different now. Uh -huh. Like how women were back in the fifties and the sixties, mm -hmm. the seventies, completely different. Yeah, they, they want I, different things. They want different more things. I, I, I feel like more, yeah. something changed in like the seventies, the eighties. Something yeah. like something changed mm -hmm. where women now feel like they don't need men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that that's I, that's really a problem. Yeah, because like. If you feel like you don't need a man, mm. you don't complain about men. You don't yeah. need a man. Don't yeah. say what men are not doing because you have the you have the notion of saying, "Oh, I don't need a man. Yeah. I can do this by myself." Well, go do it by yourself then. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask for a man to fucking help you. Exactly. Because a man, men need to feel needed. Hundred percent. We need to feel needed. Mm -hmm. If we, if if I'm a man, I'm dating you, and I feel like you don't need me, I will evacuate. Mm. Exactly, and and if you make me feel like I'm not needed, oh, we're, we're never we're never going to go past what we're doing right here. Exactly, not at all, not at all. You know, no matter what you think you're doing or what you think you deserve. Or because whatnot, men are not out here saying, "Oh, respected. we don't need women." Uh -huh. We're not saying that not shit at all. You know, I could do this by myself. We don't. We're not saying that you shit. No, I'm just setting my fucking standard, and if you don't respect that, that's fine. But you have to, you know, I'm moving on. I don't you're know. not like, bro. I, I I think that that right there is a lot of the problem. Is like. You say you don't need a man, but mm. you're complaining about men. You complain, why can't I find a good man? Mm. Yeah. Why can't? Why, why don't men want me? Uh -huh. I was I was talking to a uh, talking to a girl. You know, I talk to a lot like women just casually. Yeah. And she's complaining to me about men. Yeah, of course. which they do a lot. <laughs> a she's like, well, why, she's like, she's like, why can't I find a good man? You know, men don't want me. Blah blah like that. And me just observing her, me mm -hmm. taking her in. Yeah. You know, like, and listening to what she's saying, like, again, she came with the, oh, 
I make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm doing this by myself. You know, I don't need no man. She literally said, I don't need no man. Mm -hmm. You know, all, all all the things that all the what what they call the women, uh masculine women or whatever they said. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Toxic masculinity. Toxic, whatever, <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever yeah. they said. Whatever um said. but I I just told her, I was like, look, you did, out out of your mouth is what you said. Mm -hmm. I don't need a man. Mm -hmm. Out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just looked dead ass at her with a straight face. Direct. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. You don't need a man. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, that's not what I mean. Well, you just said it. Yeah, exactly. You just told me. You just told me you don't need a man. How am I supposed to know you meant something else other than what you said? That's what I, you just, said. I just told me you don't. You just told me you don't need a man. Yeah. So what man? Because because you bring the I don't need a man energy. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the that's where the problem is. Mm -hmm. Because men we want a soft woman we mm -hmm. want a feminine woman we this want is what a home. we want to we want this mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like I that want a home. I want and a home. like i feel like masculine well that's not what i feel is what i think masculine women become masculine is because of the lack of like men yeah male influence the male influence and they pick it up differently and like you know like how they pick up how males act they try to act imitate that they try to act than, like men exactly instead of Acting like themselves, you yeah. Because that's actually what they're looking for—a proper male influence. Yeah. But they're trying to cater to you, so they're trying to act like men. Just like so, it comes that whole vibe. Yeah, it's a weird yeah. thing. That was that was makes me mad. You acting like a man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I hate the whole like. There is uh, Steve Harvey has a book, "Think mm -hmm. Like a Man" or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't think like a man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not one first and foremost. I mean, and he's giving like. Now, I've skimmed through the book. Uh -huh. I've skimmed through it. Uh -huh. Some good advice in there. Because uh -huh. you're, you know, he's giving you the game of how men really think. Uh -huh. yeah. He's giving you the game. Mm -hmm. But it's like, now like now that men know that, mm -hmm. we just upped our game. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're kind of, yeah, we switching it up on We're every single time. We, yeah, every, as soon as the information is given, we switching it up. Every we got to do something different now. Because <laughs> yeah. he didn't told you, oh, like, I'm going to make this dude wait. Yeah. 90 days. Yeah. All right. And I was like, all right, cool. I'll, 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 I'll still go out with you. I'm going to be doing this over here. Exactly. But in 90 days, I'm still you know going to want saying? that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's just I got how the we think. period. No, I got you. Got yeah. You. Like, because like, you already, you you just proven it to, like, mm. we're not dumb. No, not at all. Intellectual beings, for sure. We're not stupid. Head heavy. Like, you know, tactical at all points of time. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's hard to really, like, now, like, you know, some of the women got podcasts now, and they talking shit on men, and mm. it's like a whole men are not doing this. And that was bound to happen. Credit, like there are men not doing what the fuck they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, hundred percent. Whole hard. A lot of them, probably more than more so than yeah. women. You know, yeah, women yeah. are generally obedient. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of men who have disrespected women. There's a lot of mm. men who done shit to women that mm. it's just like, bro, why the fuck would you do that? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like that, mm. you need to be punched in the face. Yeah. You now some shit is just be like, yo, mm. but. Now it's like we're fighting each other. Mm -hmm. We're like, we're like this, mm -hmm. especially in especially in the black community. Yeah, hundred percent. Especially in the black community, we are literally fighting each other, yeah, going yeah. back and forth. You need to come to a medium. Yeah, you said it's like you thought like the seventies or you know it's like yeah the late seventies or eighties. It's the crack epidemic. I'm telling the, you, the it was crack, crack. the crack Bro, epidemic taking dads from homes. You know, yeah. so it's fuck these niggas and of course taking moms away, but it fucks with people's brains. Yeah, you know, dads are disappearing and all the. You know, it's a black infrastructure, really, you know, in black communities, everything we have to go through in the, like the 70s, 80s. But we're not like that anymore, bro. So we do need to come to a medium and, you know, well, figure out this balance. Because there's no balance. There's no, there's none at all. And like, we, it's hard. It's hard, yo. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to mm -hmm. really like wrap your head, brain around, yeah. you know, going back and forth with women about just simple, simple mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. Like, dude. If men, I'm I'm a protector, I'm a provider. That's it, exactly. Uh huh. That's, that's what exactly. I, that's that's what makes me. That's what makes me like a man, mm -hmm. protector and provider. Correct. Uh huh. And those comes with certain things, of course. I need respect and certain types of stuff. So if you don't want to give me that type of shit, because you know that I gotta move yeah. on, and you can't be mad at me for that or think that men ain't shit because they're not. That's like, do you want me to act like a female? Do you know? Do you want me to think not at all like a female? Do you want me I, to be I, all? I, the, yeah, you know, think like heterosexual or whatever, you know. Think like uh, a woman. Yeah, exactly. You might <laughs> think like a woman, exactly. 
I mean, they like that lover stuff once in a while, but at the end of the day, you're gonna need a soldier, bro. You're gonna need a protector. You're gonna need a provider. You have to gonna come to that at some point in time. You know, like exactly. Uh, it's, it's, you're gonna need that. Like, that's just what it is. Uh -huh. Like we we are meant men are meant to protect women. Mm -hmm. That's what we're designed to do. Mm -hmm. Like you feel that your you feel like your man peak when you're protecting a woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like something about protecting women is like I like I just feel manly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all. This yeah. what man feels like. This is what I feel. all right. Yeah. Like going out and taking care of your family. Yeah, that's family what first and foremost. That's what men like. That's what we feed off of. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why. Like I, I, I never, I've never heard a man say, "Oh, I don't need women." Mm -hmm. Never. We would never say that shit. I don't need. I don't need a woman because, like, yeah. if I hear a man, I was like, "Oh, you are broken, dog." Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's much needed for sure. You are broken. Maybe man. every day. I don't even know. But, <laughs> but. We got to get to a point where there's a a, a, a level of balance again, mm -hmm. a level of balance. Mm -hmm. And I like, we got to figure that out. Yeah, I hear that, man. It's going to take some time for me, too. Through history, you're going to have to earn the protection and pro providing, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Well, you have to get to that point, <laughs> you know. So I come, yeah, like, other see, than family, of course, you know, that's it. Like, even that, like, er, like earning, like, we got to, like, earn, yeah. got to earn things. Yeah. That's what I think is crazy. We got to earn, you know. Yeah, yeah. We got to earn your submission. We got to earn. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. These things. is like, but I think men don't care about, men don't make you earn shit. Yeah, it's, it's easier to earn. I'll tell you that. There's only a few things you need if it's that. Like I said, through history, I'm like that. But on a general, on a general consensus, yeah, for sure not. If you looking good for a lot, a lot of men, you know, doing what you need to do, taking care of it. That's it, bro. Like, you're, you're good. Like, man. We don't care about all the other mm. Yeah, exactly. And there's, you can you can you can list. make like make my home a happy home. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything else is pretty extra. Everything else is I don't, extra. I don't have dog. any brain energy for this. It's, I'm trying to get this hundred fucking k. You need to chill out. <laughs> Relax. You know what I'm saying? Like that. It was like, like we gotta know how the other. We gotta know how the other, how we communicate as like men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. how we communicate. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like women have to understand the way you communicate with the man. Uh -huh. Like so y'all think that men don't get it because we don't yeah. get it. <laughs> yeah, you got to communicate a little differently. We don't we... understand. Yeah, exactly. You're speaking in Because like you'd be like, I just told him everything and he still don't get it. Yeah. They, he Because he really doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He really I, don't understand. I, I hear that all the time and I'll be like, bro, you didn't say anything. You didn't say, you didn't you didn't say, say nothing thing. relevant like... to like... Make my brain click and be like, <laughs> yeah. this is what she meant. Like, yeah, yeah. You're saying a bunch of feelings, so you're not saying any words that actually are, like, divine to find correctly, bro. Go read the dictionary or something. But, like, be specific, be logical. Let me know what you actually Cause want. Because y'all <laughs> think, think in code. Yeah, exactly. Y'all yo, 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 talking code. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not going to work. We're going to have to get out the code book for a second if we're in a relationship and get down to it, you know? Like... If you want a code language for public, you know, or something like that, we could talk about that too. But it, it's really <laughs> hard, yo, because it, it took me like I'm 30, bro, mm -hmm. and I'm still sure. learning how women communicate. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still learning. Yeah, yeah, we're still learning all the time. We, like men are still learning how y'all communicate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause we just like, yo, what's how crazy? Yeah, it's men are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, simple. Like, there's a book called... Uh, Some are easier than others, too. You meet them. Yeah. Those exist, and when you do, it's refreshing. Dude, that's a unicorn. Like, that's Whoa, I'd be mean, like, damn. It's a unicorn. Yeah. Just far and few in between. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, you may be around, though. Yeah. That's like I, one out of a thousand. Yeah, women. One that, out of a thousand. That shit is refreshing, bro. It's like, oh, my god. Well, there's this book called... Let's go get uh, my life together. <laughs> 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 it's a book called Woman Knees. Uh -huh. And it explains how women talk. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I read something. I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. So, like, I didn't even know that they made it a language. To, like, that's how y'all talk to men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, ever, you ever, like, just talk to women? You'd be like, what is she talking about? Yeah. Oh, all the time. Yeah, there is a whole different code language and, and, and ideology and philosophy, bro. Like, I need... We need if to, there like, was a secret society, they it would be them, dude. Trust we me. We need we if need the like Illuminati exists is them. They that's have funny. All <laughs> that's funny. There needs to be like a uh, like a college course. You know what I'm saying? Like from a from <laughs> let's say when when the men start getting into girls, six like sixth grade, sixth grade, <laughs> 13, as soon as they and you got to take one every year to 
to pass. Oh, right. You got to take one every, every class. You got to take woman needs two, yeah. woman needs three, yeah. <laughs> woman needs one on one. You yeah. know, so you got to like because we we are just we yeah, are just trying needs. to understand y'all. Yeah, that that's is, the bottom line. You know, it's, that is it. Yeah, man, love is understanding and to comprehend. So we get that's the only way we can get through anything is to understand each other. You know, not to submit to one another. I yeah, mean, even though. What I need from you, you might feel like that's submitting, but it's not really submitting. That's just because, like, uh, <laughs> we're submitting to you. Correct. We're both being submissive to something. That's yeah. when we come to negotiable terms. We're, we're we're like I think men submit more than women. Yeah, we have to because like we understand what you need. Mm -hmm. You say like overall the general basis. Mm -hmm. You want somebody to take care of you. Mm -hmm. You want somebody to protect you. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent. And then physical attraction, maybe some mental stability as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. But like, I think those are just the basis. Yeah, 100%. because you're not going, you're not going to want a man who is who can't take care of you. Not at all. In one way or another, you know what I'm you know saying? saying? In one way or another. And the other way is just is a lot harder. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. It's, <laughs> it's, out, it's out of control out here. Because some of y'all, woo, y'all been y'all tearing y'all things up with them vibrators. Y'all yeah. been. <laughs> You didn't mess it joint up. You didn't put the Grand Theft Auto codes in there. <laughs> left out, right up, left out, right up. <laughs> 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 like Bro, that's two million dollar ideas we just came up with. What the last time was helping out the dudes on OnlyFans. Now we got the subscription uh for woman needs starting at sixth grade. Oh man, that's two. You know, Not for real. Because we we that's that's it. I think that's I think that's the problem. Mm -hmm. I really think that's the problem because we 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 spend our lives trying to understand y'all, mm -hmm. and we we a lot of men do so much for women that gets overlooked, mm -hmm. and then oh yeah, and then by all means like we get a lot of the, we get the shitty end of the deal, hundred percent, and all in in every situation men get the shitty end of the deal, hundred percent, and like uh, the great Freddie McGregor said, when push come to shove, everyone's gonna put the blame on the man. Yeah, know? it don't it don't matter you 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 gonna take responsibility. Or you. Yeah, hundred percent. For whatever reason, if your girl cheats on you. It's, it's your you. fault. Yeah, yeah. It's your fault. Everything falls on the male's back. It's your fault. And they, it don't mean it matter what. It don't matter if she cheated. Mm -hmm. It's your fault. One hundred percent. And that's why in any aspect of life, males are taught to like take accountability, and we have that on our back. And that's something that a female has to respect as well. Like I'm holding all the accountability, so like my standards have to mean something. You know what I'm saying? Because everything falls on me if this shit goes, you know, haywire. Yeah, like You're straight. You in the wind. You can go be a unicorn someplace, you know. <laughs> we don't we don't even think about things the same. Like mm -hmm. I, I had this conversation with um with a homegirl. Mm -hmm. I came to this realization it's like so she's like, Oh yeah, my man my man cheated on me, blah blah, blah like that or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, damn, that it sucks. Mm -hmm. It sucks or whatever. Yeah. And she was like, Well, all men cheat, all men cheat. Mm -hmm. And I was like, That might be true. <laughs> that might be true. Yeah, but have that, you met them all? What do you mean? That <laughs> might be true. <laughs> but like a man cheating and a woman cheating totally different. two completely different things. Totally different. Because like I think why why women get so upset is because they think they they associate them cheating like how like mm -hmm. men cheating like how they cheat. Mm -hmm. Totally different. It's, it's completely different. An, it's an because emotional attraction what they're going through, whereas me it's just you a actually duty. Like, you actually like the dude that you're cheating on your person with, you actually like something about mm -hmm. this person. Mm -hmm. You actually like this person mm -hmm. because you control sex, hundred percent. I mean, like, uh -huh. but you there's something about him that you're attracted to. Mm -hmm. You like him. He's funny. Yeah. He whatever you like him. Uh -huh. That's why you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you didn't like him, you wouldn't be doing 100%, it. Hundred percent. Because there's so much things that a man has because, to go through for you as a female to be emotionally attached to. Yeah. You know, like you're no, emotionally you're, you're, attached to this man. Exactly. Because your emotions are involved. Correct. And women be like, oh, you know, it's not like no, it's you to no. sleep with somebody you you like them. Yeah, hundred percent. Totally different. And if and if you sleep with somebody and you don't like them, you're a, a broken woman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, those exist too, but that's they a are. different. That's a different. You know, you know the difference between that and you know your girl. You know, so yeah, you know the type. I know how I got with you, so I know how you get with other mother. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's the yeah. same. It's the same thing, and I feel yeah. like they don't, they don't understand that, bro. Yeah, exactly. Like we're not when when men cheat. It's just a little bit different because mm. we don't necessarily have to like the person. Hundred percent, you could just fall into some shit, like you know what I'm saying. Like, and that happens. You could just fall into. <laughs> like it, it literally happens. <laughs> oh my god, it, it happens, and it doesn't happen as often for us as for you. So it's kind of like you know when it ha does happen, you know we might not know how to deal with the situation as much. I'm not saying course, I'm not saying you as should you get cheat. older. Definitely not. I don't agree on that. I, I yeah. agree with you know 
be not saying you should cheat and all that fucking shit, but to it, break down cheating, you know, when because everyone goes through that shit. Yeah, that's the you know that's the thing. We don't cheat the same. Yeah, definitely not. We don't cheat the same. Uh huh. And a lot of like, we don't do anything the same. That's the thing, and they try to con- they try that's, to convince men to think like women. Uh huh. And we're two two different things, but they want us to be on the same thing, unless it's something that benefits them. Then correct, it be, yeah. correct. It's like this weird. It's a, it's weird. It's yeah. a, it's a really a double standard. Uh-huh. Like there's a lot of double standards on men's side, but I think the mm-hmm. levels of double standards are stacked up on women's side. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, hundred percent. These days, for sure, the voices are out. But no, we'll get to a place. It has the pendulum has switched. You know, it's been a very male dominated world for like you know a long period of time. So you get their little time, you know, and whatever, you know, but. The, the balance has to come. This has to happen, you know, and the things have to. We're gonna be okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> it has to come around. <laughs> hopefully, because yeah. it's getting out, it's getting out of hand, bro. Yeah, it's getting out of hand where women just like we're not dealing with men at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's the Lumani, bro. These niggas gonna we, not, be like Zena out here pretty soon throwing spears at us and shit. <laughs> For <laughs> Zena warriors out here, <laughs> they gonna be out here getting crazy because yeah. they're like sweat rice is coming back. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Like I watched this. Uh, I've never seen the show Blacklist. No, Blacklist is my. I. I oh, it's like a CIA movie or something like or a TV show. Yeah, Netflix. Uh, I've seen it pop up. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's one of my favorite. One of my favorite things to like watch. Mm-hmm. I spent like a lot of time watching the show, but there's one episode in particular where, um, remember they're like they they based episodes off of real life. Uh-huh. So one of the episodes was uh the women were um, uh kidnapping. Mm-hmm. And kidnapping all like the politicians in the area, and they would insert a baby in them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. That's wild. So the, the politicians would be missing for like eight months or whatever. It's like, what's going on? And then they would mis- mysteriously pop up with kid, pregnant. With, with pregnant. <laughs> and uh, but That's they were basing off of the, ma- the men making laws yeah, on yeah, women's yeah. bodies. Uh-huh. Good and, point. Like, nice little switch. That's a good Yeah, they, they made a law women's body where women, certain, like certain states, won't allow you to get an abortion. Mm-hmm. And so I, I like. The episode has so much emotion in it, though. Mm-hmm. It made me think. I was like, "Are women really? This is a real. This is a real situation." You know? Yeah. Because I, it was the irony of it. As like one, one of the politicians, one of the politicians that decided was, to have the baby, uh-huh. and one of the politicians um, wish they could get rid of it. Or something he he, like that. he went to go. He went to get rid of it. Yeah. And so the lady at the end, she was just like, "Aren't you such a such politician?" Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Didn't you vote on this bill to not have?" Women make abortions. Yeah, it's like the irony, and it's crazy. <laughs> they put that nigga in the Twilight Zone. Yeah, that's a genius episode. That's a genius concept. I love that. I yo, I was that. like, yo. That's, I mean, yeah, bro. You shouldn't be making you, laws. You shouldn't. You got no them. responsibility. You have no say in that matter. You know. What I'm and, the, and it's and it's hard to no say, say that you that. have a say so. In, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like crazy that. that we're at that point to where we think that. You know. Well, like, yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah. To think like yo like. I do whatever, do whatever you want, mm-hmm, whatever, whatever you decide to do, uh-huh. that's your business. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like that, but it has to be some balance. Cause some dudes like, Hey, look, I don't want the kid. Mm-hmm. If you decide to have it, I'm going to, you know, abstain from providing financial responsibility. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You and you gotta, go. you gotta take, you gotta take that into consideration. Yeah, there yeah. needs to be like a document signed up or something like that for real, where, yeah, yeah. where the dude is literally saying, Hey, look, you can have a kid if you want. I'm just going to withdraw my, mm. Whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> shitty. With with all my rights. <laughs> with, yeah. yeah. It's shitty. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, some sort of But balance. you but you have um, you yeah. have the option to abort the kid. Mm-hmm. I should have the option to be out of there yeah, there yeah, has yeah. to be some I type of saying. Yeah. There it's not fair, bro. Yeah, but no, that has to exist. No, I hear you hundred percent. That does have to exist. I'm taking accountability hundred percent, but yeah, no, if they're they're definitely if you could kill it without my say so, then I don't, you know, because you want to take the financial hit on that. You mm-hmm. know, because like what you, you know, child support, mm-hmm. blah. You know, what I'm saying it's mm-hmm. a whole, it's a whole cycle. Mm-hmm. So there has to be some type of something mm-hmm. yeah. before, but like that's what, gonna be a tough pill to swallow. It, it is. It is a tough pill. To, that's a tough pill to swallow. But bro, <laughs> like something has, has to, to yeah. something has to come out of that. Uh-huh. Like I think another thing that needs to happen is like there needs to be mandatory DNA tests. Uh-huh. Ma- like. As soon as it comes as out. As soon as it comes on. out, mandatory DNA yes. test. Mandatory. Mandatory. Sure. You go 18 years, a whole life, and not Mandatory. Mm-hmm. You need, like, that needs to happen. Where can I sign? I mean, I'll go type the petition right now, bro. Because, we'll like, signature. That is, sure. that, that's the whole thing. You, you've been taking care of a kid for 18 years, 17 mm-hmm. years, 10 years, 7 years, mm-hmm. whatever the time is. Mm-hmm. And then you find out that it's not yours, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you know that. what I'm saying? 
Bro, them niggas need reparations. What <laughs> the fuck? Look at that. Come on, bro. Hell no. They need all my money back. <laughs> they said they need reparations. That's funny. Man. For sure. They need tough. reparations. Because you never know, man. The pride, you know, lack of accountability in a lot of women and a lot of women's pride, if, unless they, you know, were instilled with that from young or got that from someplace, will really, like, they'll take a lie to a grave, dude. Oh, like, wholeheartedly. Yeah. You know? But they will take it to the grave and as, like, there, something like that has to be done, bro. Because, mm-hmm. like, I had a homie who was in that situation. Mm-hmm. Taking care of care for, like, three years, dog. Yeah. And then it was like, the DNA test upon it wasn't his. Mm. Was hurt. Cool. Like, he was hurt, yo. Yeah. That's he was a, hurt. That's hurt, bro. It's a different level of pain. This yeah. is, this is, you don't even know the amount, like, because you're getting emotionally attached to, mm-hmm. and then you find out that it's not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that, that, that sucks. Yeah. How do you even deal with that situation? How did he deal with the situation? He still he was hurt, bro. Yeah. Like you, you know, still how, take you know. care. Like what, no, no, what are no. you doing? You still taking care? You still you, you built an emotional bond? Kids grow. Like, it depends on how far, how far, how far in we are. Yeah, yeah. It depends on how far we are. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I, I, I probably, I probably wouldn't deal with the mom anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. I wouldn't deal with the mom anymore. But like, if we, if we got some time in, like, I find out ten years down the line. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like at ten years, I yeah, mean, like I you, you pretty much. Yeah, you are already you are already there. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. are you've been there. Mm-hmm. You you took care of changed diapers all that. That's you, your kid. That's your that's your kid. <laughs> yeah. But if you find like I'm saying that birth, mm-hmm. you need to do it. Do it. That has to happen. Do it. I'm signing off on that one for sure. Tony D. Mac president. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, cause that we there has to be some type of like you have to make it fair on both ends, Joe. Mm-hmm. And Come to some com some kind of common ground mm-hmm. with each other. Mm-hmm. That's what I think the end all be all. We have to come to some type of common common ground. Yeah, there almost should be like a whole different legislation for relationships or something, like a whole different. <laughs> Not because the, the relationships are the crazy. Like relationships yeah. are the biggest thing in the world. I mean, that's really what we're here for. Human relation. That's like everything, dude. You know what I'm saying? So, man and female relation is really the how most to pressing. how to be in a relationship. It doesn't have to be. Like well, your friendship, it's yeah. a relationship. Come on, anything, anyone I interact. You're saying with you people at work, that, and that's for the coworkers, but you gotta build a relationship with them to work together. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Even in your your natural relationship, you with with your other partner, mm-hmm. that's a relationship. You have to know how to be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. It's really simple, man. Communication, understanding, opening space open for each other, bro. You know all that extra stuff, like God, it's man. just a lot of extra stuff, bro. Yeah, there is it's a like a lot of one-sided things. It has to be just, what I want, you know. Just, the greed, the selfishness yeah, of like people are selfish. Yeah, people you know? are selfish. It's like we have to come to a point where we're just like, okay, look, you need you relationships need a daily check-in, mm-hmm. weekly check-in, mm-hmm. whatever, some type of check-in. Yeah. Hey, look, what's going on? What you got any problems? You got any issues? Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. Let's spill it out now so we can fix it. Yeah, exactly. It's simple. Yeah. But most people hold it in, uh-huh. bottle it in, and yeah. then the one thing that's not even that serious, they take it all out. And when you that start person... hearing all types of stuff that you don't even know what the hell's being He's talked like, what about the anymore. Fuck? Like, I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> all I did was leave the mayonnaise out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, right. oh, and anything. Like maybe, oh. maybe I put the. The, I told me to put the food back, and I put everything in there with the pots bro, in the bro. refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. I put I put the clothes. I took the dryer, uh, the clothes out the dryer too soon the other day. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Went off. <laughs> Next level too. God dang. <laughs> Jesus, because ultimately it's a business agreement. This is a business agreement, dude. You know, this is a relationship. Yeah, it's a relationship. But you know, yeah, we got to check in. Like it's. Like it's a business for like, I don't, yeah, you know, we gotta check in, we gotta see what's going on with each other, where we stand, where we moving, what's what, what we're what we're doing, you know. Otherwise, what are we doing? We're just fucking around at this point. Yeah. You know? Well, communicate, right? First. Gotta gotta communicate. You gotta tell you gotta tell me what you want and what you need. Right on the table. What you want and what you need. Mm-hmm. And be straight up. Right on the table. If you tell me, hey, I need my man to do this. Mm-hmm. I need my man to do this. Mm-hmm. Or I need my woman to do this. Mm-hmm. You guys got to like, and like if a, if a man says, "Hey, I like a feminine woman," mm-hmm. don't like, yeah, don't if you're not a feminine woman, don't get in a relationship with this, exactly. this dude who Ex- wants a feminine woman. Exactly, trying to change or trying to make him like exactly, you know, it's as simple as that. We could don't, we go could get corners. with a man who likes masculine women. Yeah, bro, who you that could, I who think you that's could so, beat up at night, you know, like who you. Get out of shit. It's so simple, bro. Yeah. Go be with the man who want you. Yeah. Don't think oh oh because there's a man who likes you. Yeah. 
there's someone for everyone. There's there's some, like no matter who you are, like mm -hmm. you gotta understand what the what the other species wants. Mm -hmm. What the women want. What a girl wants. <laughs> what a girl needs. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the song, but like <laughs> Like we got it. We got to know what you want. And we have to be respectful to that. Our each other's needs. That's another like thing that is going on. Where people are not respectful of each other's boundaries and needs. You know, boundaries like, and needs. Yes, yeah, you we know, we like, need to respect your partner's boundaries. Respect your person's yeah. needs. Yeah, what exactly. do they need? Exactly. If you if you a person if you a person in a relationship and you know your woman loves quality time, mm -hmm. spend quality time with her. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Whatever her love language is, whatever she likes gifts. Don't, bro, if you broke and you like a woman that likes gifts, mm -hmm. who likes expensive gifts, mm -hmm. don't get with her. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You got to show an effort for sure and show an effort. You got to know what she wants because for if, sure. her, if she likes gifts, that's what she likes. Mm -hmm. She's not going to change. Mm -hmm. 100%. And that shit has to go both ways. Man. It has a lot to go, of, it, that's where it gets tough because a lot of times, yeah, no simping, no simping, guys. Don't simp. Yeah, exactly. Simping ain't Don't pimping. be giving it if you're not getting anything in return. You know what I'm Don't saying? No simping. Simping ain't pimping. Yeah, you know what All I'm right. saying? We're going to keep saying that. That's <laughs> back to the Simp other episode about the OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, simping is not pimping. pimping. Bro. Not yeah. pimping. Don't don't simp when you All oh, this ain't tricking you. If you got it, none of that, bro. Simping, bro. They, and if you got it, you got it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We're not <laughs> tripping on you. If you got it, you got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's... We was like, they were like, alpha males cheat. Uh -huh. they, they be saying, like, red pill, whatever the fuck yeah, they yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, all males. Cause like, why, uh, what are they saying? Because why would he listen to you if he could get anything he wants, you know? Like, I mean, valid point. Learn what, learn what type of person that you with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's also a personality shift. Honorable men exist, you know, loyal men exist, respectable men that exist. There's people who's going to be honest and tell you, okay, I don't want to be in a relationship. They're not, they might be alpha, but they're not going to get in a relationship with you. They're going to play around, and there's going to be an alpha man that likes you, that believes in you, that understands you want to need a man just to cater to you. He's going to do that for you. You know what I'm saying? Well, that cater to you, bro. Yeah, 100%. Like, it's just certain, certain situations you got yeah. to you gotta figure out. Well, mm -hmm. I think the, the biggest thing that you need, like, bro, you're, you, if you're a man, mm -hmm. You gotta have some money. First and foremost, you otherwise. gotta like. That's what all the. That's what all the. All the red pill talk yeah. tells you. Yeah. Get on your purpose. Yeah, yeah. Get some money. If yeah, the average one especially because you know. because if you because you... if you got money, you have a different level of confidence. Yeah, for sure. And you're gonna be able to. You're gonna be able to pick out what woman you want instead uh -huh. of having to just settle. Mm -hmm. Even for women, women, if you know, you want a certain type of man. Do what you gotta do to acquire that man. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. I, like, yeah, well, it's like listen to men will tell you up front, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. And you want that man, you have to be that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. 100%. And that's the easiest way to go about it, especially for the most basic. Just make some paper or have some sort of, you have to have some sort of quality that they like. Like, and that's ambition. Gonna, and exactly. Or that's gonna take a little longer because even like years and years of being a musician and, shit, and music stands for something because you know you see people see what you see people on stage and stuff. Yeah. It's that, that stands for money, bro. Yeah, like yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Some sort of quality. But that's gonna take time. You building your craft and like getting to a point where you get to that, you not go might not be getting them at that point in time, but you yeah, gotta you, put in ten years to even get to that point. You have to have some sort of quality, respectful quality. Money's the easiest way to go about it, the quickest way. Like money's you know, but, money is easy. But yeah, money's gonna want to get you so far. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. that. But you you if you want to date women, yeah. you're gonna have to have some type of fun, bro. You, yeah. You know how hard is a date um, uh, without money? Yeah, it's tight. It's you hard. stressing yourself you, out. You stressed out, man. With some sort of charisma, I hit them with a smile. What's up? I'm a little soft voice. Yeah, I'm a musician, whatnot. That's only gonna last for too long, so you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they know, they they get it, bro. Oh. They like they they have unlimited options. Uh-huh. Yeah. Unlimited. Most of them have unlimited options. Mm -hmm. For sure. Pretty much all of them. Unlimited. All of them. No yeah. matter what type of woman you are, you have unlimited options. Mm -hmm. exactly. They might not like those unlimited options. Yeah. You, might not, you might only like 5% of that. Yeah. But you have unlimited. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you can you can just pick and choose, pick and choose. Exactly. But you start to like somebody is, mm -hmm. what does this person like, require, and need? Mm -hmm. For sure. And what are we going to build on top of that? And I think it's so simple. When you want to date with a dude... Mm -hmm. Just say, hey, look, what do you want in a woman? Yeah. <laughs> a man could be like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, I don't want to hear this. When's your birthday? What's your favorite color? Touch? I don't want to hear no none more, of that. We'll get there later, bro. <laughs> none of that. What you, what, like the basic dating questions. <laughs> Straight to negotiation. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you want? 
What do you want? What do you what do you what do you want out of a woman? <laughs> and men need to do the same thing. Like, oh, what 100%. type what type of woman are you? Yeah. A lot of bitches be thrown off by that too, man. Like, bro, I get to it, bro. I get what do you, what do you like what do you bring to the table? Like yeah. they get it like Well, because if I have XYZ, mm -hmm. I need you to be this. Like and men are so I need you to be this. Yeah. If all I need you to do is cook and clean, uh -huh. that's all I need you to do. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. That's fine. You could go. Yeah. Go find somebody else, yeah, but bro. That's my standard. You know? Men are so simple, bro. Very simple. Men are so fucking simple, bro. And it's yeah. it's hard. Yeah. All I really need is food and space, bro. You know. Food and that's so that's. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Give me time. Give me time to think. Yeah. You know, give me for time to real. be by my. Give me time to be by Just myself. Be quiet for a second. You know what I'm saying? No like, disrespect. You're talking way too much. <laughs> like, and I don't be trying to say we want to but like, yo, you really be like, yeah. We need to hear our own thoughts. We need to, we need to come to a, yeah, exactly. Like, you get mad because your man playing video games. It's like, no, he's trying to zone out and get yeah. the fuck away from you. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm type of type of nigga. I'll break it down. Engineering wise, there's a whole EQ spectrum. There's a, there's a sound spectrum. There's sound waves, and the way you pitch, you're going. There's a pain wave. That's at 3K. You're speaking too high right now. It's literally hurting my brain waves. You know, like so. You That's need to funny. go. You know, yeah. like, you you hurting my you're ears right now. You're literally damaging me. Do you care about me? Like, come on, dude. Oh, bitches don't like that. They don't like that. <laughs> they don't, they don't like, like it. But that's that's simple. That's simple stuff. Like, the more you talk to your man, the more irritated your man gets. Yeah. Exactly. The more you talk to him. Yeah, yeah. Because we're back to what we're talking about again. And we're just trying to understand y'all. We're yeah. just like, yo, she's talking way too much. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with you. We're just like, we don't, we don't need to you're do that. You're saying too much. You're confusing me. You're too much <laughs> words. The more the words, I'm thinking more. Like, yeah, sim the, simplify, you know? Like, uh, the more words, more I'm thinking. You don't want that. I, I <laughs> I don't like this, but girls would send you like, you know, they send you this long, you know, hmm. essay, paragraph, text message or whatever. And then you respond to just one thing. Yeah. That's all I had the capacity <laughs> to respond to. Because, yeah. like, I'm going to be here yeah. for 20 hours yeah. trying to respond correctly to uh, this yeah, yeah. essay, paragraph, text oh, message. See, oh, see, I'll give you that attention. I'll be, I'm a writer. I'll give you that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, I'll call you, actually. I will give you a whole breakdown. No, I don't. I don't. Need, I just don't respond. Though. I need to stop. Yeah, I don't I respond. To, yeah. I was. I was talking to one girl one time. Right, who was hanging out for a while. And she was like, uh, she got. We went on a date, and the date was it was a it was a bad date. I guess I don't really yeah. know. But we'll we'll wrap up after. Uh, -huh. uh she was a bad date. Guys. We're like we're still kicking. But mm -hmm. so we was like um, checking her home, and I was like, um, you all right? Mm -hmm. It's attitude. You mm -hmm. all right? Now everything's fine. Okay, I know everything's not fine because you ain't saying nothing. Yeah. We just said y'all talking a lot. So you not talking? Woo! What's going on in your head, yo? You know how that goes. The whole vibe change you say to you okay is like, no, your whole energy shifted. She's right? like, you know I'm not okay. <laughs> what you just you just need to get it. Like, yeah. no, that's what I'm asking you. Uh -huh. That's what I'm asking you. So I'm yeah. like, all right, you know, ten minutes go by, it's like, you're all right, sure you wanna talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. And I literally said this. I was like, look. Mm. I'm giving you the opportunity right now to express yourself mm -hmm. and have it a safe space for us to talk whatever issue is, is the problem. Yeah. So now I'm fine. Now you irritate me because you keep asking me I'm okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. So I just uh. dropped her off home. <sighs> Not even I didn't even get off her street, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about five page paragraph <laughs> text message. Oh, she had that essay ready for you. Oh, I don't, I don't, she was, I don't know. She was, she already had notes. a, she already had a draft in her head, bro. Every, it was formatted correctly. She not said <laughs> spacing, double space. It was entirely, and now I just, I, I literally, I, to the right spot, I literally like, I was at the stoplight and I was started reading it and I just said, okay, yeah. never spoke to her ever again. Yeah. I was like, no, said, okay, see, never that's, spoke that's to too much. Five, you know what I'm saying? Especially when we was just talking. When I Yo, just, I just, I just we gave just you, the, I just gave you the, you know what I'm saying? I just told you. I gave you the stage, the opportunity to let me know so we could fix it and, you know, move forward. You chose not to do that and to do this weird text shit. Like, <sighs> I have this chick who does this weird thing. I'll be with her in person. She'd get mad, like, uh, like, and won't want to communicate about it. So she going to be like, like, unfollow me on all my shit and like block me on like social medias and all this shit. And I'm like, we're in the same room together. What, what do you, what do you think that's like? It's crazy. <laughs> like, what do you think that's doing? You know? <laughs> I'm like sitting next to you. We're talking. You think if you block me on like social media, somehow you're blocking me in real life? I'm sitting right here. Like that don't make no sense. <laughs> it's funny. Oh my god. And I, I, all I was just like, yo, like, <laughs> so mad. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, but they exist. Higher quality women. That's pretty much <laughs> higher quality women. <laughs> 
Any any closing, <laughs> any closing remarks? Any closing remarks? Raise your papers and have access to higher quality women. <laughs> I think it's that simple, bro. Yeah. I think it's that Get simple. Get your paper up. <laughs> Get your money. Stick to your grind. Get on your purpose. Mm -hmm. Red pill talk. You know what I'm this saying? Is, that's what they, <laughs> this is red pill. You know what I'm saying? Like, to do. Come. It's like it's like red pill, blue pill, purple pill. Like, mm -hmm. what's up? This ain't the Matrix, dog. <laughs> come on. This. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Living outside the Matrix. That's how I live. <laughs> Cause it's, it's just stop stop with the red pill. Stop confusing everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Males over here got to title everything. Got to put things on it. You stop know? confusing all. It's just communication, bro. Stop com stop confusing us uh -huh. on what you think a high value man is. Mm -hmm. Stop confusing. Them, yeah, all right? yeah. Stop confusing the women. We, we think is a high value. Mm -hmm. Stop giving. Stop saying shit, and then women think that's how men think. Yeah, exactly. And every male's individual. Everyone thinks different, and ha every has different needs. So the females, you got to like talk to that male specifically. You got to take it with. A grain of salt. Yeah, a grain bro. of like we're all just, different. <laughs> just like when the man is when the man is speaking, mm. just let him talk. Mm, for sure. You know how hard it is for us to communicate with y'all. Yeah. You know how hard it is, bro. Yeah, it takes a long time. You know. For, we have we have to like formulate in our head to be like, okay. If I say it like this, she's not gonna understand she'll it. React like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I say it like this, <laughs> she's not gonna get it. But, so I have to find the perfect way to say something. That's why we. You that's gotta, why we take forever to text y'all back. You got a game plan for it, bro. I'm on the X and O's, dude. I got to <laughs> <laughs> you know, draw out a play. Like <laughs> I'm, hitting, I'm bringing in the boys and shit to let me know. Like, don't hit it that way. Trust yeah, me. yeah. Like don't. Like we got a, a community of dudes. Like how to respond to this, bro? Like because we yeah. we just trying to understand y'all. Yeah. Y'all you know? think that y'all understand us? Y'all don't. Not at all. We and think we think that it. we understand y'all. We yeah. don't, but we attempt to. We we at least we put in the effort. Far more effort than the other side. We at know? least put in an attempt to understand y'all. You gotta learn the game. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. we got, do we do need each other. At the end of the day, there's no way around that. So, red pill women like we, we do need each other of some sort. We <laughs> we need y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We uh, really do. Like uh -huh. it's just like. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm looking at you like, how are you living without a woman, dog? Yeah. How? Yeah. I mean, come on, <laughs> bro. How like. How are you living without a woman? Yeah, no, it's no. it's the hard like your life is harder if you don't have a woman in your life. Yeah, your not. life is completely <laughs> harder, bro. Your life could be so much easier if you had yeah, a woman in your life. Yeah, for sure. For whether sure. it be your mom, whether it be your grandma, Someone. whether it be a woman Someone. friend, some woman in your life, bro. Yeah, and I mean I got my homies and shit, but I don't know if I want them at home with me, you know, like <laughs> Bro, we yeah. want you there, just be in the other room, you know, just exactly. like go. Yeah, do, I, do your thing. Go start your business. I'll help you out. I'll do all the marketing. I'll do everything you need. Dream on. Like, whatever you want to do, I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> you know? Come on. We'll it, have our little time together when we have our little time together. But It's so hard, yo. Don't be on top of me. God damn, don't be on top of me 24-7. 24-7, bro. Like, <laughs> it's it's hard, yo. We, 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 we want to make it work. Mm. We're trying to understand y'all. Yeah. We don't speak womanese. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's the problem. Uh -huh. Like Steve Harvey told y'all to think like a man. Uh -huh. <laughs> we we just recapping right yeah, now. That's, yeah, that's, now. That's all now, we do. We, now you would step back too. <laughs> now you would step forward because, like, if you watch the movie, uh -huh. the part of the movie was the men found the book. Yeah, exactly. And changed the game. And changed the game. So it's like it's impossible for you to think like a dude. There's no way. You know, it's constantly changing. It's constantly rescripting. Re it's yeah. You know, we're tactical over here. So you have to communicate with us. Let just us know talk. what you want. Just talk. And, yeah. Take just us talk. in. Yeah. Like, men will say something like, plain blue Jane. Mm. We'll just say it. Uh. <laughs> and you'd be like, what does he mean? Like, how do you, we just said it. <laughs> I know. Literally what I said. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. What you mean? I'm not, there's nothing else attached to, can you pick that up for me? <laughs> there's nothing else attached. I really just wanted, you know, I was wondering, you were close to it. You know, I'm yeah. not trying to control you. Everything you just were over there, you know, and I needed that. I was just wondering. If you not could, trying to control you. Yeah, I just wondered if you could pick that up for me, you know, real quick. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. Yo. God damn. <laughs> well, this has been good. This has been we'll, a good we'll, one. This we'll, we'll, I hope. Hopefully, this has uh, hmm. enlightened some people. Yeah. You give know. you a little more information. We'll we'll give you more information. We'll get back to it too. You know, much more to come. We got a, a few subscriptions we're working on. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, this has been O. Oh. Only O. Only O everywhere at Only O O N L Y E A U X High Heat Recording stu Studios. Tap in. Tap in. Uh, it's been Tony Matt. As always, I'm the host. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for more episodes. Uh. I think I think that we got we right we 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 right on right on par. Yeah, yeah. Right on par with it. <laughs>
Uh, for everybody else, uh, you're going to be okay. Stay tuned for more. Yeah, thanks for having me, Tone, once again. Woo, we out. Yep. That's hard. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good little hour.